it has you know, obvious advantages. Uh, on paper, uh, the federal government doesn't want to have to spend any more money uh, than they need to, and you know, that's right and as it should be. Um, with a cloud uh, computing uh, scenario, uh, you can scale up very rapidly when the mission requires it. Uh, but equally, you can scale down very rapidly when the mission no longer requires it. With the old traditional model, you go out and buy lots and lots of servers, put lots of RAM and storage in them. You have way more storage uh, and processing power than you need. You can scale up to it, but you can't scale back from it because you still own all that hardware. In 10 years time, uh, I think that the twisted copper networks that we're, we're kind of dealing with at the moment will, uh, will be hist history and the things that our, our parents were used to. Uh, we'll be living in a more optical world where everything is going down fiber optic, which means bandwidth will not be a problem. Uh, there will be new versions of WiMAX even faster than WiMAX today. So we will be you know, in 7G and 8G networks. Uh, when you have unlimited bandwidth, uh, either at home or when you're out and about, a whole world of possibilities op opens up. I still don't think we'll have flying cars in 10 years time, but we will have devices that will be able to, to, to play the very highest def video on demand, on request. I think the ability for people, not just large federal agencies, but also for small and medium sized businesses to just scale up rapidly without having to, to, to hire a whole IT infrastructure and to build a data, data center and to, to, to get this expertise just to store data. If they have a fast enough pipe into their enterprise, they don't need to. They can let somebody else do it for them. Uh, and I think that operational flexibility will be good for uh, business startups, especially business startups that do well and need to scale rapidly. Success is based upon uh, sitting around a table and hammering out uh, an open standard, uh, which benefits them in the long run and most definitely benefits customers in the short term. I, I think for cloud to get really well established, we need it to be based on open standards. Speaking with you know, federal CIOs and CTOs, uh, they keep mentioning vendor lock-in, vendor lock-in. It's a, it's, it's a major concern. And we need to get around that major concern. And the way to do it is to say, we've adopted a common standard. Pick your vendor, it doesn't matter. Well, I, I think it's a, a great couple of companies to zero in on where, where uh, you know, the 800 pound gorillas in the room, uh, we have the capability and maybe a duty to, uh, uh, to uh, what's the word, lasso the troops. Uh, and, and drive this standard uh, uh, sooner as, as opposed to later. Let's corral uh, the other vendors, whether they be partners or competitors, and hammer out a cloud standard.